Kia ora, welcome to the RVHSP with Mr. Dalton. I'm the MC today, Daddy, and these are my two sons, Koe and Tiana. Today we'll be analysing Newton's first law and how it relates to a soccer kick. Newton's first law states that an object at rest will stay at rest unless acted upon by an outside force. In this case, the outside unbalanced force will be Huddy's kick. Secondly, Newton's law states that an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. In this case, the main unbalanced force would be the wall causing the ball to rebound and decelerate towards the ground. In theory, an object that is travelling in the air should stay in the air. However, there are unbalanced forces acting upon it during its flight. There is gravity causing it to come down towards the earth. There is wind resistance causing it to slow down in the air. There is also any external forces that may act upon it like a wall causing it to transfer energy and force on its impact into these external forces. Today we are talking about Newton's second law for summation. As you can see, it's a bit windy out here today, so we'll make it quick. Now Newton's second law states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional and in the same direction as the net force acting upon it. The mass of an object also plays a part in the acceleration of an object. Force equals mass times acceleration. So if you increase the mass, you can decrease the acceleration. Now when we're talking about Newtons, the more Newtons of force that is applied, the more the higher the acceleration, the more force there is. Because force is mass times acceleration. The mass is constant, the acceleration changes on depending on how much force you give. So as seen here. Frisbee did not go too far, but when applied, you give it more acceleration. Throw is likely to be more successful because more force means more acceleration means more force. Kia ora, my name's Tiffany. My name's Sunny. And I'm Aaron. And I'm Tani. And uh, today we'll be demonstrating uh, Newton's third law. Um, yeah, we'll be, demonstra be demonstrating with a racket and um, the racket hitting the ball. Uh, we'll be demonstrating uh, the air resistance and uh, gravity. Um, yeah, every action has a reaction, uh, has an equal and opposite reaction. Well, we are presenting Newton's third law. First thing we must mention is action force and reaction force. Water move is of an example. As you see there, there was two examples of it. The first action force was the pushing of the ball to get a good release. And the reaction force was a, the resistance of the ball against your hand. And as it hits the wall, there's always the, also is an action force. The action force is the ball hitting the wall. And the reaction force is the wall pushing back against it. And the acceleration then affects how well the reaction force is and the action force is. It's an action force we demonstrated with little acceleration and a small amount of reaction force. A ball thrown with little acceleration will go so far because, because of force, Newton's force. Every action is a equal 